Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard. I'm going to talk to you today about optimum breast health. You know there's more iodine in the breast tissue than there is in the thyroid. And the reason for that is that the iodine in the breast tissue is used for the mother's milk to deliver iodine to the baby to support mental and cognitive function. So it's very, very important. Now, when the World Health Organization tells us that 74% of the world's population is deficient in iodine, then one of the first places we see that deficiency is actually not just in the thyroid, which is another issue, but in the breast tissue as well. Now, studies have shown that when iodine levels are low, that the estrogens, the toxic estrogens, can uptake very easily into the breast tissue. And a low iodine shows an increased estrogen receptor site activity. That means the estrogens are attaching into the breast tissue. Lipid peroxidation, which is basically due to cellular wear and tear, um, has also been shown to be excessive when, when iodine levels are low. So it's very important to realize that we do have a deficiency in iodine. In fact, in the last 30 years, we have about 50% less iodine in the blood of an average American than we did 30 years ago. And the reason for that is many. Iodine was used in the meat industry, in the dairy industry, to clean all the equipment. That's not happening any longer. Iodine was used, people used to take salt, and iodized salt, which was made, was created in the 1920s to bail us out of the deficiencies of iodine in the 1920s. But now people don't use iodized salt. It's been deemed bad. And all the natural salts, while they have a little bit of iodine, don't have anywhere near the supplemental iodine that we have in iodized salt. In 1960, they started putting iodine in the bread as a dough conditioner, but in 1980, they took it out, and they replaced it with another dough conditioner called bromine, a halogen that actually literally competes with the iodine receptors. All the halogens compete with the iodine receptors. Chlorine, we have that in our water, we have that in our pools. Fluoride, we have that in our, in our drinking water. Uh, bromine now in the bread as a dough conditioner. So we have many halogens now in the environment that are competing with these iodine receptors. So there's a lot of really good reasons why iodine levels are low. And it's very important to realize that we can do things to support that. Research shows that about three to six milligrams of iodine per day in the diet support optimal breast health. So very important to realize that. And I cite the research in the article associated with this video so you can get a sense of what, what the research was about. Also, it's important from the Ayurvedic perspective to realize that iodine was a lymph mover. In Ayurveda, we always think about how to get the lymph moving because it's the drains. Open the drains first, help the body detoxify well, and usually the body works pretty good. Sort of an Ayurvedic concept. Iodine is a deficiency that can cause lymphatic blockages or lymphatic flow issues. The breast tissue, very important, you know, concentration of lymphatic tissue. If that lymph is com compromised, then the breast tissue can have poor circulation and that can become a problem. Other issues related to lymphatic flow can be digestive health issues and stress issues, but iodine being one of the major reasons we look to from an iodine uh, from a lymphatic compromised perspective. So those are important things to, to, to think about. So, you know, in Japan, where women live, I think, to be 81 years old, on average, they take about 14 milligrams of iodine per day. It's a ton of iodine. Um, they have some of the best breast health in the world. I think it's important to, to realize that we probably are not getting enough iodine and to look at the possibilities of having more iodine in your diet, more seaweeds or more supplemental iodine. Please check with your medical doctor, make sure that everything is good there. You don't have an allergy to iodine, but please read the article so you get acquainted with the relationship between an iodine deficiency, which is pretty pervasive around the world, and optimal breast health. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard.